Hi, Tom Karen and Peter Gammons here at Fenway Park as the WEEI Ness and Jimmy Fun Radio Telethon continues. Peter, we sit out here every year. The stories are still just as emotional. Uh, it is amazing how many lives have been touched by the Jimmy Fun and the Dana Farber Cancer Institute. Absolutely, and I think one of the one of the things that makes this telethon so important is it reminds us, it gives us that constant reminder of how important it is that all of us in this community, all of us in New England. Be part of it, and we're very lucky that we're here and, and uh, that our health is protected, but also that uh, we're, we're very fortunate to be able to be in a position to, uh, to try to help out for people who come from all around the world. One of the things I'm always impressed by, too, we hear the stories of research and care for the cancer patient and the victims of all of this. We often forget how much entire families are helped by what they do down there. And you've gone through medical issues. You know very well that sometimes it can be as trying or even more trying on family members than it is on the patient who's in the middle of the fight. Absolutely. Well, what they do here, whether it's the Ronald McDonald House or whatever else, I mean, they're so great about taking care of the uh, of the families. I know of, of friends of mine that had a child that was uh, was treated at the Dana Farber, and you know they they were able to reduce the stress level by about 80 percent, which is pretty remarkable. Um, and and uh, you know they they will be forever um, they'll be forever indebted to all the people, volunteers as well as doctors and nurses. Well, my favorite moment so far of the day, uh, a young patient, Jack Robinson, came out with a book of jokes from people who've gone through the Dana Farber, and Pedro Martinez was coming in as he came out, and Pedro asked Jack to sign a copy of his book. I think a lot of people have gotten Pedro's autograph. Not many people get to give Pedro an autograph. That's right. That's tremendous. And Pedro would get it. Yeah. Absolutely. He wants the books translated in Spanish, he said. He's going to bring them back to his uh, native Dominican Republic. Another amazing telethon. Uh, as much money as we can get, it's going to a great cause, a place where miracles happen right down the road.